Okay, so small reminder before I start my video, please subscribe if you are interested and leave a comment to help improve my video. Thanks. Okay, we are back with uh, Devil's Door and I already noticed a problem which is... As you can see, there's a lot button here, but if we go back to the main menu... This is not the main menu. Oh, uh, ah, yeah. Back to title, yeah. Okay. Loading. Just a little bit. Then the opening animation. Okay. So, you can guess it. There is no load button. So, if you want to load the game, you have to press new game and, well, press load. Well, uh, that's just a minor problem, so it's okay. Okay, Benji want to apologize. You shouldn't have said all those things to Miss Ellsworth and get us all punished. I don't know. Yeah, what you're saying is pretty good. I'm sorry. Man, no problem, Benji. Benji stood up, looking like a lost pup. His ears pretty. Wait, let me guess. Benji is a werewolf. Alice is a vampire or something like that if I'm correct they're all actually monsters and why Halloween is so important is because the monster family start the tradition in order to blend in with the people so well they wouldn't be very you know suspicious <laughs> no forgiveness really <laughs> forgive him and don't forgive him. Instead, it's no forgiveness. Holy freak, I'll go with forgive him. You are forgiven, Benji. Just don't do anything that stupid next time. Indeed. Oh, I knew you would forgive me. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Indeed. Benji came in and threw his arm around me. His warm embrace warm as a furnace. Uh, there's the, I think it's too much of a word you could just use his wa his embrace is as warm as a furnace you know those kind of you know uh, uh, how do i say it double word not really nice but it's okay feeling my face heat up i pat him on the back a little frozen at what to do oh didn't you just get warm <laughs> he released me with a heartfelt smile Nice oh, wait. costume, by the way. It suits you really well. Thank you. I'm just uh, uh, checking if my the game sounds are recorded and my voice is recorded. Apparently, it is. So let's continue. Uh, sometimes I did those mistakes, and I have to re-record a game from the beginning, which is really uh making me stressed. Yep, thank you for the compliment. So good. You just had to match, huh? Indeed. Both of you. He bites his lip, playfully poking my shoulder. Be friendly, be cute. Be cute. N nah. I thank him with a friendly smile before gathering my books. I can help but notice his expression changed to something akin to... Disappointment. So obvious, Benji. Indeed. Alexia pushed her way past the crowd of exciting, exciting student. Not exciting. Exciting student. Her angel wings knocking down books and flyers. How about I give you a treat to move aside? Ooh, 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 ooh. okay. Ooh. Preparing for another farewell match between the two, I sit back down and remove myself from their range. Aggressive as ever, Alexa slides Benji Pepper aside and plants herself on my desk. Okay. Benji just sidesteps her. <laughs> I've got Mr. Alvarez's class up anyway. Okay. But my family's hosting a gathering tonight, if you want to come. Sure. Hope to see you there. Okay. With one last toothy grin, he casually flicks one of Alexa fake swing and shuffles off. Now that that mongrel is out of the way, Ooh, mongrel. how about you take me up on my invitation instead? I don't know. Pumping her hands through her hair, Alexa watched me with acute wonder 
as if gazing at a plaything. Oh no. You know, as the new kid, you've been drawing a lot of attention lately. Thank you. But so I you'd be perfect at my party. But I don't trust both of you. You two could be monsters and I will be sacrificed instead because I'm a human. Come to the Drifted Springs condos at eleven? Uh-huh. Sure. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to hypnotize Dage? I felt myself slink deeper into my chair as if all the muscles in my body were being soothed into a state of ease. This is nice. Good. Making it feel more, you know, exciting and different. Not just the sprite like this. I blinked and the moment was gone. Alexa was still hovering over me, anticipating, anti anticipating, anticipating an answer. At an her party, no thanks. Could I just say it later? Like, uh, later I will attend it later. I don't think it is a good idea. We'd rather go with. Oh no, I forgot our friend Ash. Yeah, Ash. No, but thank you, Alexa. I think I might have plans already for tonight. <laughs> All right, well suit yourself. Okay. Just know that I'll be in my best, and if you decide to come by, uh huh, the door will be open. Okay. Oh, oh. And okay. One more thing. Grabbing one of the onto the fabric of my costume, Alexa pulls me in close enough for me to breathe. breathe. Why do I say breathe? Breathe in the fruity scent of her shampoo. Ooh. <laughs> that is really nice. But not. <laughs> okay, that is nice in the sense. Nice. And nice in the sense that this is a good. A good thing to use to make the visual novel even more alive. Okay, let's continue. Uh, hello, Ash. <laughs> oh no. Wordlessly, Ash packs up her bags and heads for the door. You won't say anything. But I catch her hand as she is leaving. Ash, let me explain. Her bubblegum cigarette has fallen to the floor and I feel her hand tremble in my own. Oh no. Ash. Oh. Heartbroken, yeah. You're frozen, not knowing what to do. And... Oh, okay. She just goes away. I call out to her, but she doesn't look back. Should we take the cigarette? The, the bubblegum cigarette? Sighing, I look up at the clock overhead. Already five minutes late now. Yep, let's head to the glass. Aha. Uh -huh. Just what was that? Indeed. Oh, the same classroom. Okay. Miss Ellsworth was the only one I had with her after all, but I still typically would have found her in the lounge or cafeteria in between breaks. All I wanted to do was apologize and set things right with her. But you can't. She wasn't answering any of my texts and I didn't know where to look next. Come on Ash, come on. At least let me explain. It wasn't as if Ash and I were dating or anything. Ha! <laughs> if you are were dating, you probably get ghosted right now. Ghosted, Halloween, boo, you know, ghosting. But ever since my first week in Marbrook, she had been enthusiastic in her attempts to get along with me. At first, I thought it was just Aunt Moore being close to her parents that pressured her to spend time. But the more I get, got to know Ash, I realized she was just... lonely. She probably felt so ostracized from this rural town where the people had their own cliques and secrets they didn't care to share with anyone. I sighed, checking... checking? Checking my phone again for any replies to the message I had sent her. Nothing. 
Where are you, Ash? Where are you? You know, uh, the developer told me that this visual novel will go dark. Did Ash die? Probably. Uh, just guessing. I raced agro across the grounds. I almost say across because across ground. <laughs> I almost say across, yeah. Across the grounds, growing more anxious with every lead turned cold. Deciding it'd be best to check her home next, I sent her parents a text to tell them about my arrival. Oh. Nice home. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Had to leave for work often. Support a parent. Okay. Well, it's an effort. At least you do an effort. Uh huh, no answer, and it didn't look like anyone was home. The window was dark. Where could she have gone? Uh huh. All shut down for Halloween, eh? The craft store, guitar center, or pet shop. Never met someone so spontaneous as Ash before. Someone who just randomly ditched his story for the sake of petting some puppies. The weight in the pit of my stomach grow heavier and soaked. I closed my eyes, recalling the event that started this whole mess. Aha, uh -huh, indeed. She was strangely baiting you to come. I don't know why. I couldn't even react in the moment, and that led to this. Yeah. Oh. Uh huh. Uh, you did notice. You did saw her go through the door. Yep. Oh. Gathering a less list, not last. List of checkpoint in my head, I headed to the park to continue my search. Okay, we are heading to the park. Ooh, a black hat. A friend mewing softly. A friend, a friend, no. A friendly mewing, perhaps. Softly besides the hedge. Or is it a friend? Indeed. The familiar black hat gazed up at me in perfect recognition. Ah, yes, it is a friend. Yep, yep. Not long after moving here, I often crossed paths with this cat and started feeding her when I could. Strangely, she would always coolly reject any cat food and go straight for whatever lunch I had on hand. That probably isn't a cat, I'm just saying. Of course, with the smell of those things, I didn't blame her. How are you doing there today? The cat's going to answer. Isn't, isn't she? It's the Halloween night. Yeah. Uh-huh. Following me, huh? Indeed. Well, I'm not sure you want to do that. Luck doesn't seem to be on my side today. I smiled at the irony. According to the superstition, black cats were unlucky by the vault and were to be avoided at any cost. Thing is, my luck went sore way before you came today. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, a lot of things happen. Got roped into a few too many plans and hurt the only real friend I've got here. She might not even talk to me after this. Oh. I look around to no avail. Finally giving in to the need to take a break, I collapse onto a stone bench. Searching since the time class end left me exhausted and by now, the last remaining glimpse of sunlight were escaping past the horizon. The nights begin. Yep. My villain friends joined me, transfixed on my reactions. I laughed under my breath. You know, if I were to lose her, I don't know what I'd do. But here I am, not even able to keep searching. 
Should I try to send one last message? Why not? Let's let's palm her. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. The rest will be up to her. Oh, the headache is back. Yep, freak indeed. You cursed in pain. While running around for the whole of the day, I had clearly neglected the, to hydrate and pace myself. Oh, I saw something... Strange. Black dots raced across my lines of vision. My feline companion nestled a step closer, attempting to comfort me as she watched my pain rise. Every second that passed, it all glowed less and less bearable and I lay back, hoping to calm my body down. Oh, okay, you pass out before your head even- ah oh. That ought to be a little hurt. Darling. Hello. My darling. Okay. You're in pain. I know. I know. Yep, is it because of you? It's okay. It's okay? It's all it's okay. All okay. Uh, but yeah, but uh, Ditch is in pain. I'll make it I'll go, make go, away. go away. Okay. Just you, Just wait, you for wait for me. me. Oh, so you're coming for us? We'll be together. We'll be together. Soon. 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 Okay. Hey, the cat is gone. Gradually waking up, I groaned at the axe in my back. The stone bench was close to freezing now as chills of cold wind blew by. And it's the middle of the night. The moon was already peeking through the clouds and your feline friend has gone. How long was I out for? Straightening myself with a heave, I checked my phone. 10.44 Low battery and three message. Ash? Oh, on more. Great. All my efforts today were in vain. Had promised Ash I spent Halloween with her, but I had little hope of fulfilling that now. Should you? Should you just go home? I wondered if it would be worth it to catch any of the invitations I was given for the night considering my state. I was still in my costume after all. Hey, you're still there. Oh. I was blocked by our resident black hat making yet another appearance. Where were you? Squatting down to meet her gaze, I smiled gently. Hmm. Suspicious. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Something wet coating her fur. This was blood, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I stared at my blood-stained hand incredulously. Ash, isn't it? No, it's not her injury. <laughs> Oh, your phone? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, thank you for breaking my phone. If voting, she sprints off down the avenue with, my, with me close behind. <laughs> I can see the black part of the screen, okay. <laughs> okay, but that's a good... I love it, the shaking, it makes it feel that, well, you're really moving. Tumbling down onto, onto an unfamiliar road, I cut my knee open and hear a bone fracture. Ow, whoa. Pat, why did you do that to me? Oh. 
Uh huh. A clue to where I was. A signal for help. Signal. Somebody, help. Oh, you need help. Only the darkness answered. Sucking in a deep breath, I push aside the pain and heave myself up. The sharp grit beneath my digs into my palm. What? The sharp grit? What did I just say? Oh, okay. It's correct. Somebody, I need help. Oh, bleeding, broken, and drained, I couldn't even drag my body forward. It was all I could do to continue surveying my surroundings for a sign of respite. Ah, oh, that's not a pair of light. That either that's a car or an eye. Two bright eyes. Okay, getting closer and closer. Uh huh. All of it, build a pace. You know those creepy pacing. Nice. What happened? Oh, okay. You made it. Where are you? Uh huh. You feel the pain, but you're still alive. You have miraculously survived. I don't know about that. Where are you? Rolling myself over, I look up towards the dawn sky. Orange hues and blood red clouds blanketed the expanse above. No? A red sun engulfed the horizon. Ooh, okay. This couldn't be right? Indeed. Strange. Uh, did you die? <laughs> oh, oh no. Hello there, cat. Now this feels like Alice in the Wonderland. You know, chasing the rabbit. Waiting? Okay. You're following. Uh huh. Through the door. Yep. I don't know. Uh huh, like the bizarre voices. Maybe, just maybe it's a dream. Or it isn't. A gateway into my subconscious, right? But in that case, there couldn't be anything behind the door. I draw in a last slow breath and still myself for what was to come. What was to come indeed? The door slid open with ease and I was presented to a grand and expensive Victorian style warrior. Large windows and sunroof bathed the space in scarlet luminescence with delicate items were displayed alongside the walls. The eyes. Ah, it's her home. Indeed. Hello. Well, be calm, bitch. You must be polite in someone's home. Indeed. Getting closer and closer, I step forward under the flickering blue lights of the chandelier. I make out a masculine voice calling out from a flight upstairs. What? Yep, I cannot hear it. The words are, he are hard to make out. From my post, I watch a man descend the stairs. Just how do these things get lost all the time? Whoa. What? Okay, it's not her home. Looks very different from all the other characters. I stand there awkwardly, awkwardly wait, waiting to catch his attention. The man gaze, previously transfixed in his search, met mine. Cough of guard, he coughs and grabs the railing to steady himself. 
rather bad practice indeed. Rather bad practice. Entering into a man's home uninvited. Uninvited, indeed. Confused at what to say, I mute her out an apology. I'm sorry. You're lucky you didn't get shot, by the way. Uh huh. An uncomfortable silence passes. So what are you doing here, Ditch? Yeah. Have you found it, dear? Oh. Okay. Hello there. A beautiful woman gracefully glides in from the next room. <laughs> I almost write it as slides in. Her long hair is woven into a braid that cascade past her knees. Oh, very long. Okay. It's it's a style I didn't see often. Uh, indeed, I, I I didn't see that style often in two. Well, a visitor interrupted me. Yeah, a visitor. With a distant demeanor, the woman scrutinized me. She ended it with a no, with a nod in acknowledgement. It seems the cat has dragged in someone of interest. Indeed, the cat. Okay, you two knows the cat. Perhaps you should see what they want. Okay, see what they want. The man takes his turn in studying me up and down. He seems to take note of my costume. Aspiring towards royalty. Not bad. So the costume did affect the storyline? Interesting, I didn't thought that would happen. I thought it was just, you know, costume. By the way, thank you for the compliment. Oh. A dull act erupts the start of another migraine. Well, it's a little early for that. Okay. What was this? These two people I didn't know were just casually talking. It wasn't like many of the dreams I had before. Yeah, what is going on? Where is this? Can you tell me? The man scythe bring a hand up to message his temples. Always the same question with you humans, isn't it? With you humans? Okay. Humans? Yeah? Who you are. Hmm. It seems you've had a long day. Indeed I have. Perhaps it'd be best you sit and rest for a bit and collect your thoughts. Okay, I'll do that. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. My vision was giving me trouble. Maybe it was the light. I don't know. Perhaps it's your eyes. Uh thinking. Where is this if you don't mind, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I reflexively bowed my head a bit. This woman looks so regal in her dress and mannerism that I guess I couldn't help it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can hardly see anything. Can't feel anything else but the pain. Oh, such life. Only feel pain. Breathing raggedly, I just cradled my head until the act start to dissipate. Ah, oh, they are changing. Ah, demons. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. The, this man whom I, I saw just previously with pale skin was rummaging through a box of children toys intent on finding a particular item. I gasped, reeling back. After waiting for me to recover from the spasm of pain I, ha I had experienced, the man finally stands back up to respond. Meeting my gaze, he finally answers my questions. <laughs> I think. I think? You know who I am. Who? I did. You did? Who? Uh-huh. Tonight, I'm 
just a man preparing for his son's first birthday. Son's first birthday? What? Uh, no, I think you understand. A birthday party. Today is your kid's birthday? Of course. It's mine too. Oh, your birthday too. As if something had caught his eye, he makes a hurried dash across the room. <laughs> a, a, a hurried dash for a demon. Okay then. Finally, finding what he's been looking for, he holds up the object proudly. Actually, it's not demon, it's devil, you could say. A baby bottle. He presents it to the woman happily, stroking her lower back in a loving manner. Uh, here it is, honey. <laughs> okay. My thanks, darling. My thanks indeed. I'll prepare the candles now. You're going to sacrifice Dage, aren't you? <laughs> to summon some kind of demon. We better get out of here now, Dage. Uh-huh. Potpourri. I don't get it. I think I get it. We should get out. Uh-huh. Both of your birthdays are on the same day? Isn't that a little strange? Is there a day more fitting than the very day of the dead? Day of the dead. Oh, Halloween. Halloween. Oh, beating heart. The pulsing act was taking over again. I and I beat and I beat back a painted groan. Yeah. Hello there. Must be the residual memories flooding back. Residual memories. I'll give you a minute with that. Okay. So we are actually some kind of demon? Devil? As if a dam were just broken, I kneel over from the onslaught of information pouring into my consciousness. Yeah, that? That is right. Oh, you're died. Who the feeling of having your bones crushed, having your flesh eaten, came surging back into you despite my anguished attempts in pushing them away. Zayas, right, it was some kind of creature. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bad idea, you died, I was right. Just what happened to you while you're walking alone in the middle of the Halloween night? What was that thing? What am I now? A ghost? Could be. Why, you are now a lost soul. Oh, okay. How do I get back? Well, here's the thing, Dage. Uh, first, I don't think that this devil will tell you how to get back. This devil will probably tell you there's no way to get back, which is which could be the truth or a lie. And second, this devil probably going to sacrifice you. I mean, you're a soul. Uh huh. Oh no, Dage. There is no turning. Okay, there's no turning. Back. Back. Okay, indeed. Death is final. Death is final. Love it. That can be right, yeah, that cannot be right. I need to get back to my family, to my home. I just entered college, I mean, I died? Oh my god, that is really bad. My parents literally just gave me the autonomy to have my own room, uh, living in a college far away, and then I died. <laughs> How bad is it? Oh my god. Okay, let's continue. Dage. Eject. Eject. Okay. I need you to help me. I'll do anything. I think there's one way to get back. Is that you reincarnated as something else other than human. What I can do is bring you new life. Oh, yeah, I was right. Son, oh, you're planning to turn... Dage into a devil. A second life. Living as one amongst us. 
Among us, indeed. Amongst us, it's the game, you know. Date, you're not really not updated. Come on, you're. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Truly, humankind's insurmountable plight. Yeah. A millennia gone by, and you're all still the, the same. same. Indeed. But you're a kind devil, you know that? Oh. I felt the prick of rage rise as he said those words. Well, you are a monster. Well, uh, would a monster help you now? And how do I even know you're not like the other one? The one who ate me? Uh huh. And what is a hero? The one who slays monsters. Yeah. I don't understand. But I am a good person. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm barely 19. Yeah. <laughs> I don't deserve whatever this is. No, please return me to my family. Didn't do anything wrong. Yeah? <laughs> the optimism you humans the hold. Optimism you humans hold. But, 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 but Deitch is barely 19 and I didn't think I make any uh, dangerously sinful option. Always thinking about your prayers, your deeds. Yeah? Balling my fist, I stared at him defiantly. And just what made you believe that they'd have any meaning after death? I don't know. It's just very nice to have it, you know. Thinking positive. Well, lucky for you, you've been vouched for. Nice. Vouch for? So, let's make a deal. Oh, okay. Oh no, a deal. The red-skinned man turns and hums to himself leisurely. He pivots back with a love and bright eyes. To collect candy. Candy. You mean by candy souls, isn't it? Just what? Yeah, it, it's soul. Different kind of candy from, you know, the one human consume and you can manage. And the one you consume. Candy. You need to ask the details. Uh huh. Every year, I hold a ritual of sorts. Okay. To celebrate my day of remembrance, I hold a competition for the ghouls and demons of this town. Ah, interesting. They bring me a living soul to feast on. A living soul. Give them one of these. Ash. Oh no, oh no, we need to sacrifice Ash, aren't we? Let's not do that on May. Is it on May? Oh no, I forgot. On Moor. <laughs> Should we sacrifice on Moor? No, 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 no. That's why Alice is trying to bring us to her party because she is going to sacrifice us. The candy. Uh huh. Severed eyeball. Yep. Living soul. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. My body shook with anger. I grinned my teeth with a candy clutch in my left hand. You know, there's a way to do this is by sacrificing the devil himself. Just saying. Okay. A life for a life. You didn't specify whose life. Ha ha ha. Your life. I'm gonna go for your life. With an extended hand, he smiles widely. No, a deal. Okay, okay. C calm down, calm down. Yeah, it's a deal. Let's go with it. I mean, why not? Let's go with the deal. He didn't specify the soul. A searing burn that sends me to my knees. Heckling the devil watch me writhe in pain with delight. Good. Glad we can come to an arrangement. Indeed, wait, uh, what if there's a contract that we couldn't hurt the devil itself? Oh no. Now 
<coughs> Just be taken back. No, I'll be taking it. Bye. Ah, oh, you, you should have run. Oh, okay. And it was back in his grasp. Lightheaded, I stumbled to my feet. So? I did it. I made your deal. Now, where do I get this candy? Uh huh. Oh, it's just like the proverb a cup of sugar. A cup of sugar? Okay, that is easy. <laughs> he lets out another laugh at my confusion. No, 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 no. What What's is the, the fun? Giving you all the answers. Indeed. With his magic, he flings the door open and slides my body out involuntarily. Oh, uh, and you should know, our deal expires by dawn. Okay. Happy trick or treating. Happy trick or treating too. I'm going for you. Well, I guess that as much help as I'm going to get out of him. Turning to my surroundings, a harrowing realization comes over me. Aha, uh -huh. you're in another world, aren't you? Oh, okay, this is your neighborhood. Aha. Uh -huh. One I couldn't afford to fail. Where do I start indeed? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Living souls, not exactly human. Who were these people? Did I know them? Uh huh. Yeah, could be. <laughs> no. A kind of soul, and I'd seen her, seen her almost every holiday since birth. There was no way she could be it. The Nash. Not her either. She only been living her here since a few months ago. He said the ritual was only for Halloween. 200 residents. Tiny, but there's still a lot of people. Until dawn, yeah. Who could possibly be evil enough to do such a thing? What if you... Oh, the door knocking. I thought someone was knocking my door. Ah, Alexa House, indeed. Indeed, you need. You know why don't you sacrifice the beast that eats it's you? That seems fair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect the decor to be so happy. Go lucky. I cursed. I was a lost soul now, right? What did that mean? Clearly, I was able to touch and feel objects, and pain, <laughs> so I wasn't a ghost. I could talk to the devil, but could normal person people even see me? Hello. A moment passed before the doors open, and there goes Alexa. Oh, new costume, looking as wicked as one could. Her breath coughed at the sight of my of me before coolly slipping into her usually coy grin. My my, look at you. Yeah, indeed. Now I see why you ditched my party. Why? Uh huh. Injuries. You know, and you can see me. <laughs> so wait. Yeah, yeah. Every one the monster. I felt my heart rate picking up. One of them? Yeah. Indeed. They are real. I'm a succubus. Get it right. Oh, you're a succubus. I think you were a vampire. You was going to school with a succubus. Yeah. I don't even think she did, but she was right. Alexa Wigerson was a demon. 
I think we have to end this video right now because it's been very very long oh no I was just very excited to read this visual novel so see you later in the next part of Devil's Door bye bye